Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Soul Blazer. Last time we found the dream rod and the paintbrush and talked to Lisa and she's all like, my dad did stuff, go find him. So now we're finding him by going inside a painting. Does that make sense? <laughs> but first what we're going to do is come back and check out some stuff in the town. Kind of a nice little thing. I always enjoyed that. In fact, this is because he says he lost his wife, and then the the goat here, since he can talk to goats and like no one else can, says that it's really his reincarn reincarnated version of his wife. That's kind of nice. I, I like that. Yep. Oh yeah, I don't think this is necessary at all. But there's only one freaking up bed. I, mean, I can imagine. How did two people live in there with only one bed? World of evil. This house up there is just for that painting. Weird. Or maybe it's on the, I think it's on the outside corner, maybe. No, no, it's down here. <laughs> Completely unnecessary, because you can get them for free, but... Oh yeah, you say it. You, so you say. You can even go into the dreams of, <laughs> of flowers, because flowers apparently have... Yeah, flowers can dream, apparently. Ah. You can make a gem. Yeah, we, we heard this from the last gem. Give me EXP. Stay. Is that really all there is to this? Ugh. Yeah, this is completely useless. I <laughs> we had a thing already that told us the exact same thing. set us over here. That's odd. No, oh, probably because the gem sent us and gem automatically just sends you right there. I think if we go talk to that tulip again though, it's what it wakes up now. Could be wrong though. Alright, sorry about that. I could check something. Oh no, not forgot to unequip that. I'll get out of here and then I'll I'll be right back. So see you guys in a few. Secret items is in there. Oh, this is the, the tulip that's supposed to tell you to tell you how to do shit. 
Anyways, yeah, you can get the, that kid standing there. He'll let you buy. You can get something when you go through the... I think you have to come back later with a metal weapon. To, you have to let someone out at one of the monster's lairs from one of the metal weapons. But... Oh, crap. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> it's like, why would I want to do that when I could just go and take the warp? I don't know what I'm doing today. A little bit out of it. Alright, now we're back here. A little bit left in the dungeon, not very much though. Like, very little. I think these might be the last two enemies, last two monster slayers, honestly. And only one of them can we actually do anything with. medical leaf, medical herb, whatever. And it's boss time. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's a real pain. If you get up here behind him, he like turns invincible. And there's nothing you can do just to hit him. Ah, dang it. Basically what you want it's hard to see. this guy just really has a strange pattern. What I tend to try and do is lure him over to one of these and have him shoot shit down and then walk up this and hit him a couple times before Before he can, before he does his his three fireball attack. But these ones you don't want to go up because they'll just knock you right into him. You think like those are the ones you want to go up, but they aren't. It's just a battle of patience, really. This this battle is. I always try to be a lot more reckless. And just be like, ah, I gotta kill him so fast. Ah. That's what I did back when I was a kid. I'm like, fuck this, taking so long. Kill this shit now. And then die. Because those fireballs take off three units of health. Just can't take hits. Yeah, not really that tough if you understand what to do, but it, it does take a little bit because you can only get a couple of hits in every time. But you know, slowly but surely. See, he's got a, he's got a shit ton of life too, and we're hitting him for one. You know. <laughs> Or he assess for three every time. It's a bit not fair. I don't think you could honestly grind enough around here to even be hitting him for two. And even that, it would still wouldn't be that much of a difference. It would st you would still have to take your time doing this. It would just be done a little quicker. Kill him. We'll finish him this time. Crap. <laughs> okay, we'll finish him right now. <laughs> Thought I'd be able to get three in, and it totally wasn't. And we get happy music. Yay. And we release the village chief. Dude, that's an old guy.
And now we're done. Well, we will be coming back here, obviously, because we once we get the metal... The sword that can destroy metal enemies. But for now, we don't have it, so... This is really nice music you get this after, you know... Everything's been resolved in one area. Hey, what's up? Yeah, well, you're in the world of evil. I don't want to know where you got that brown stone from. So he took his shit and gave it to you? That's awesome. <laughs> friend is obviously a troll. <laughs> Shit will open the world of evil. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, there's a little, there's... There's a couple of secrets here, but again, I don't think you can get them until... Until you come back with a metal weapon. So give me give me that medical herb. Alright, and we are done here, so let's go back and talk to the master. up to this gold tile. You can move since you haven't you're finished with the first area. And here's the the main map. You can't see it all right now because you can't scroll through all of them, but we'll be able to see them later. But the second area is Greenwood. And there's six areas like you said, so They all follow pretty much the same formula. Just come to a barren area where there's like one thing left alive, and that one thing will tell you something, and then you go on from there, pretty much. If there even is one thing here. Well, maybe there isn't anything in this area. I think there's only one in the first area, but anyways, let's take off to the to the right here and kill a shit in the swamp. These weird looking moe, walking moe heads or something. Die. Bird and some twigs. Yeah. Lizards. That's a great thing though too, is that they not great for me, obviously, but great for them is if you don't kill them before they jump back in the water, they 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 heal their HP back to full when they jump back out. Which is a pain. Yeah. form of those plants from the last area. Maybe I can get it to come down here. Nope. Oh well. Freaking ambushing lizards. Music's music's much better than that, that on the first level of music, I think. Still not great, but it's it's much better. There's music coming up, I think, in the next level. 
next area, I should say. It's actually kind of, it's really bad. It's probably my least favorite music in this whole game. But there's some good music in that area, too. But this one particular theme is just bad. At least, at least in my opinion. And that's all what this is about. Because screw you guys. It's all about what I think. <laughs> no, I care what you guys think, too, but... Is it turbo? No, that's not turbo. <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure it isn't. Let me go into here. The outside is like the one area of this game, of this area. Like the first area, so to speak. And then there's this like inner temple. There's like the kind of functions, that's the second area. Probably could just go right up there. Yeah, it would work too. But I'm lazy and I found this one, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs there. I'll go down there in a minute. Once I clear out these crazy bush monsters. Big gem. Yay, squirrels. Ooh, powerful sword. Me likey. Fortunately, you can't just give them an herb. It'd be great if you could. Be like, hey, here's a medical herb, eat this shit. But no, it's actually something specific you have to give them. I like those ones in particular, the ones that just come out really like rapid fire. Freaking lizards. What? How did. They like have an invincibility frame when their freaking branch comes out. Pain in the ass. See, they're completely invincible when their branches are out. Probably better with that freaking medical herb so I don't die. Oh, it's already equipped. Good. And I just leveled up, so it's not like I'm gonna get <laughs> a level anytime soon and heal. Yeah. Hate those guys. There's really not even a way to manipulate them well. They're just a pain. More birds. Ready for birds. Alright, what do we have down here? Spikes. Oh, had a little bit of lag there. Hopefully, it doesn't come through, but it's hard to say. What's in here? No. Oh, sweet. I did need another medical herb. Dumb and use mine already. Ooh, that seems important. He 
bring light to darkness. And if we go down here, it's not really dark. I think there's another area that's technically dark that you have to have him for. But since we have a jewel here, hell yeah, EXP. Since we're right here, we will go back and then we'll check out some animal and, and then we will uh, talk to the animals here and find out all the stuff that's going on next time. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.